मैरिज सेक्स तंत्र वाई इज देयर सो मच इम्फेसिस ऑन दीज आस्पेक्ट बिकॉज दीज आर दन दैट कॉन्स्टेंटली इल्यूड यू इल्यूड मैन ऑफ इट्स इनर सिरिनिटी If marriage is the playground or the battlefield, then sex is the energy and objects, sense objects, sense sense organs, or the inhabitants that are constantly at war with an one another, and as a result of this constant war. you are deprived of your inner serenity and peace sex is like a river a turbulent that constantly flows and when there is flood its banks are broken the water begins to flow all around and causes floods and havoc and damage this is what actually happens when we see when the energy is flooded we do not know how to channel this energy or channel into creative channels then it causes havoc but when the water of all the rivers merges in the ocean ocean remains tranquil there is no flood its banks are never broken it has the capacity to absorb as much water as it comes in on a day to day basis you have never heard ocean breaking its banks this we see happening around us bhagavad gita explains this state very lucidly two of the sutras contain the essence of it dhyayato vishyan punchya sangasteshu pajayate sangat sanjayate kama kamat krodho bhijayate krodhat bhavati sammoha sammohat smriti vibhrama smriti ब्रंशाद बुद्धिनाशो बुद्धिनाशाद प्रणश्यति ध्यायतो विषयान पंच मैन कॉन्स्टेंटली कॉन्टम्प्लेट्स ऑन सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड देयर इंटरेक्शन डज इट नॉट हैपन वी कॉन्स्टेंटली इफ यू आर अ यंग मेल और अ फीमेल यू कॉन्स्टेंटली कॉन्टम्प्लेट ऑन योर काउंटर पार्ट how to reach the person how to establish a connectivity how to enter into all that relates to it with this comes attachment constant contemplation on the sense objects creates attachment you are you are not able to focus concentrate because your attention in, is on sense objects or the sense organs and their functionings it brings attachment and from attachment it springs forth the spring of desires desires are like are innumerable in quantum they never come to an end desires can never be fulfilled if you try to fulfill your desires one by one you land in a state of chaos you want one electronic item after some time when you had obtained that an improvement comes on that whatever you see all around there is an ocean of desires surrounding you and you are lost in that like a person who has no boat is just 
he does not know swimming is constantly drowning in that so first when you constantly contemplate on sense objects and sense organs attachment arises attachment for this and that attachment for objects and beings both from attachment springs forth desires and all the desires cannot be fulfilled unfulfilled desires give rise to anger dhyayato vishyan punchha sangaste shupajayate sangat sanjayate kama kamat krodho vijayate from unfulfilled desires anger comes into existence krodhat bhavati sammoha from anger comes delusion when you are constantly angry you forget that we are ma- all made up of the same stuff whether animate or inanimate your vision is veiled you lo- lose your awareness delusion arises from anger arises delusion krodhat bhavati sammoha sammoha means delusion sammohat smriti vibhrama and from delusion there is a confusion in the memory you consider this as your own but no relation nothing is yours all these are like you are an actor before you decide to enter into an acting class and you entering into a play a script is written and you have to act according to this script now a scene may be a different scene according to the need of the play you may have to enter into an act of any kind of act so you forget that you are simply acting this world is a fine is finer stage on which we come to act our part but we forget this we consider this as my father my mother my husband and if someone else takes your husband or wife or something else happens many kind of delusion comes in from the the memory gets confused sammohat smriti vibhrama smriti means memory memory gets the veil and fails to function smriti bhranshad buddhi nasho and when there is a confusion of the memory you lose all reasons or awareness buddhi intellect is lost smriti bhranshad buddhi nasha with the confusion of the memory there is loss of reason and when there is a loss of reason one goes to complete ruin buddh nashat anushyati and when the intellect is lost you lose everything and you are in a state of complete chaos complete ruin this is what happens to each one of us then your journey begins you begin to understand the nature of these relations you come to various forms various methods be it tantra be it yoga be it this be it that be it religion and through that you begin to understand a little light begins to come into you you are like in a dark night where the stars are shimmering the moon is shimmering and you consider this as reality you are in a dark cave there is no light and slowly and slowly through your efforts awareness begins to dawn then knowledge comes you understand the nature of desire 
you understand the nature of all these emotions I have used only one emotion but there is a category of all that that encompasses all that are the negative emotions in one word as anger then slowly and slowly the knowledge begins to come and with that with that awareness you begin to see the true nature of things slowly and slowly dawn begins the sunlight the rays of light begins to come the darkness the shimmering of the stars that you have considered as reality begins to disappear and awareness comes you understand the nature of sex its energy the process begins the seed is planted remember your body is the temple and when the seed is planted the change begins from the level of the body to the other aspects body is gross and that's where you have to begin sex energy in the seed form is stored there know it more feel it more and soon inward journey begins one simply is you are not doing anything no thinking no feeling this ishness is the ultimate experience that begin but it is a beginning you remember you understand that body is the unmanifest creation 